الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله we have to ask ourselves if it is our job to make تبديع and تفسيق and تكفير of others because again as we've mentioned countless on countless occasions that this is the right of Ahl al-Ilm. This is the job of Ahl al-Ilm to look into these Masail and not for you and I without the proper tools uh, to, to engage in these affairs. And here's what Imam Fozan was asked in regards to this issue. A huge problem for us or for many of our youth nowadays is the issue of declaring certain individuals to be innovators wherein the people and the youth have split into two groups. And look at how many countries do we have so many groups in France, in Germany, all over Europe, in the US. How many groups of people who even really, in fact, have the same minhaj, more or less. But then they ish differ over uh, an individual, or they differ over a position over an individual. Wallahu musta'an. So he says, wherein the people and the youth have split into two groups. One group accepts the tabdir of a scholar when it is issued and imposes it, imposes it on others because this falls under accepting the narration of the trustworthy one. And the other group says that the issue of tabdir is from the matters of ijtihad, juristic, juristic uh, effort to infer ex expert legal rulings. So based upon this, whosoever is capable should look into this and then take that which it, his ijtihad shows him. This matter has become really difficult upon us. May Allah protect you. So what is your advice? Listen to this. This is so important because this is the crux of many of our problems between a lot of our youth and between some of the Salafi groups and organizations. Wallahu musta'an. Qal Imam Fozan, he said, Allah has not commissioned you with making tibdi on people and to pass on judgment on them to be innovators. Allah has not commissioned you with this. Seek knowledge for now. And once you have gained knowledge, you will know what innovation and who the innovator is. As for unleashing your tongues on everyone who disagrees with you, who has done something which you criticize him for and call him an innovator, then the sin of this will return to yourselves. The sin of this will return to yourselves. It is a duty upon a person to withhold his tongue from these matters and seek knowledge. He should preoccupy himself with seeking knowledge. Allah has not commissioned him to scrutinize the people and to say this one is an innovator and that one is a fasiq, meaning a sinner. This one has this and this one has this. Yes, it might be that he himself has worse mistakes than the criticize. It is upon us to fear Allah within ourselves. This was the, the jawab of Sheikh Salih bin Fawzan, and it shows us that the bottom line is, regardless in looking to the issue, because he didn't give you either of those uh, akwal, but rather the imam dealt with this to squash the issue entirely by saying, don't involve yourselves. If, you, if you're not a person who has those tools, do not involve yourselves. Stay away from rushing to make tibdi. If you're warned from a scholar, you can take that. But don't rush to make and force others to hold your view and to make ilzam of the people and to say, take the people off the sunnah and test the people with that and test the people with that ruling. Because again, as we'll show in the future, according to many of the ulama that mention, and it's, it's well known in the deen, that it's an issue of ijtihad. Because if it were not an issue of ijtihad, these issues of takfir and tabdir, there would be no differences of opinion if it wasn't uh, an issue of, uh, of ijtihad. But in fact, you'll find ulama of the sunnah from the beginning of time up until now differing over particular individuals. And those who are familiar with the sciences of hadith can go into much more depth about that and give you countless examples. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.